Ladies and gentlemen, the Greater Atlanta Chapter of the Association of Fundraising Professionals welcomes you to the 2014 National Philanthropy Day Awards Luncheon. The final award this afternoon goes to the Philanthropist of the Year, and this award acknowledges the generous contributions of an individual who has provided substantial financial support to organizations in our community. Please direct your attention to the screens for a short video about the honoree. can't tell you how much I came to admire him during his wife's illness and then of course he became ill and uh, you know faced his illness with a similar sort of determination and courage and uh, overcome his cancer in a, in a very admirable way. He said you know I'm gonna come out of this in, in a way where I can make it easier for other families to go through a similar sort of experience. He helped us with some uh, projects that expanded our statewide organization called the Cancer Patient Navigators of Georgia and increased the membership by 25 percent. A navigator is exactly what the word means. I meet patients at the very beginning of their diagnosis. I make sure that they have local um, community resources. They may need financial resources. They may just need a wig. They may need counseling. I'm with them from diagnosis through survivorship. And that's one thing Tom and Karen have always done is they're really focused on improving the experience of cancer. They immediately recognized how important it is to have support when one is a survivor. Really the survivorship journey goes on much, much longer than cancer care would. What they aspire to do is to create new programs and new models of care so that many more people can be touched by their gifts. It's largely through the generosity of people like Tom Chapman that we're able to provide those important services for our patients. Autism is one of the most highly prevalent conditions of all childhood disorders. There is one child with autism in every 68 one in every 42 boys. Autism is more prevalent than all childhood cancers and HIV and diabetes put together. Tom is a very strategic philanthropist and he's helped us build tools for early intervention that will help change the course of children's lives. The most exciting part of this is we can change the future for these children. Mr. Chapman donated a large amount of money to Clemson University's uh, College of Business and Behavioral Science to start the Thomas F. Chapman Leadership Scholars Program. It really gives you a nice, strong foundation for um, living a life of service and leadership. Tom and Karen, I want to thank you so much for what you've done. My dear friend Tom, it takes visionaries to carry out big, important visions. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your friendship, uh, your generosity, and your support of Piedmont Hospital, and all you've done for me in my daily practice of caring for cancer patients. Thank you very much. And if we could please bring back Mr. Marcus. Tom is here with um, about 150 people from uh, Clemson University. <laughs> and I particularly like your university because of the colors, orange. <laughs> Go orange. And I don't mean Clemson, I mean Home Depot, okay? <laughs> Look, Tom is a, um, in a philanthropic world um, that we all live in, uh, there are people who are um, generous, and there are people who are generous to a, to a really great extent. Tom is one of those people in Atlanta. He's one of the people that helped establish this city as, as generous as it is. Um, he's been involved with so many things. Let me just, um, just give you an overview of this thing with the Marcus Autism Center, something I'm, I've been very much involved with. You know, Billy and I started Autism Center, I don't know, 25 years ago. And for many years, um, it was a struggle, truly a struggle, uh, keeping it alive. We knew we were taking care of so many children. And um, 
the world didn't know about it. And then one day, this calamity of one out of 58 children became uh, visible to everybody in the world. And suddenly, the doors had to be opened wide, and there were just uh, no ability to take care of many kids as, that needed to help. It was very, very tough. And it wasn't until Children's Healthcare of Atlanta came in and really became the factor behind the Marks Autism Center uh, with a wonderful board. Uh, Don Mueller, who's a great leader, uh, helped to recruit Ami Klin, who you saw today. And together, they were surrounded by people who with the board of directors, but you can have great leadership, you can have great boards, but every child that comes into this place, you lose money on. There's no way to make money on this. This is a, one of these calamities that families are left out in the cold. And uh, if you know families who have had autism, uh, the struggle that the families go through financially, emotionally, uh, terrific frustration. Um, it took people like Tom to step forward uh, with his wife, who uh, gave money, not only gave money, an enormous amount of money to, uh, to the Marcus Autism Center, but also, I have to tell you, he helped develop a program, this Autism Navigator for prim prim primary care providers. The biggest problem with autism today is that the pediatricians don't recognize it. And when they recognize it, it's usually too late. If a child is four, five, six years of age, it's too late. If you recognize it early, you have an opportunity to change their lives. So people like Tom and his wife stepped forward and not only helped with a check, but helped write the programs for this, stayed with it, and basically helped make this a program that was important. In the, uh, the cancer program, I just spoke to the, uh, the head of the uh, Kennesaw Hospital, um, their cancer program, talking about Tom's involvement with this cancer program. And again, it's the same thing, not just writing a check, but being involved with it and watching it all the way through. You know, Tom, we know that writing a check is the easiest thing in the world. It's what you do after you write the check. And those philanthropists who not only give money, but give their time, energy, and the knowledge to many of these places and that need it desperately, I might add, uh, that's even more important. So here's a man that um, has learned that lesson. He's a great philanthropist. He's somebody who gives of his time. He's a hardworking guy. He works at everything but he works at philanthropy the hardest. Ladies and gentlemen, the philanthropist of the year, Tom Chapman. Well, thank you very, very much, uh, Bernie, and particularly for the plug for Clemson, and we'll forever remember that these ties, these orange ties, have a dual meaning, uh, I'll assure you. Uh, first of all, let me give my special thanks to the Association of Fundraising Professionals, the Great Atlanta Chapter, for this very special award. Uh, and for their terrific work across Atlanta's not-for-profit community. Also, thanks to the Community Foundation of Greater Atlanta and the Kiwanis Club of Greater Atlanta, not only for your support in this celebration, but for helping take philanthropy into the classrooms of our public schools, as we saw earlier. And I'd like, of course, to add my congratulations to Samantha, Jenny, Josh, Jen, and Rabbi Sugarman for their unique accomplishments and recognition that they received today. I'm moved and I'm appreciative of the nomination in my behalf from several parties. First of all, Piedmont Healthcare, Marcus Autism Center, Georgia Corps, 
and as you've already heard, my alma mater, Clemson University, many of whom braved 85 coming south here today, and it was a delight to see that they made it. I, I just want to thank everyone for giving me this honor today along with Karen. I must tell you, to be blatantly honest, and those of you who know me, I always am, this kind of public recognition is a bit uncomfortable for me. However, it is incredibly, incredibly humbling. It makes me so proud even to be mentioned with those who have been selected for this award in the past and be among such generous and accomplished people. Atlanta and this region, as we've talked about today, is where it is today, really, because it's been enabled by the generosity, the spirit, and the passion that's provided throughout our communities. Now, for a lifetime, I've experienced the role philanthropy has played in making Atlanta a better place to live, a better place to work, and a great place to play. And that's why this event, I'm sure, always sells out. I mean, I was here last year and the year before. It's because it's not only the culmination of this celebration, and it's not just of those of us that you so graciously honor today, but it's to you and what you do for others. It's for your volunteers. It's for your boards for your donors that make your organization and our community and so many people better off. So I'm indeed fortunate, to say the least, to be speaking to the leaders and shapers of our community. There is absolutely no doubt about it. You have the will, you have the power, and you have the commitment to continue to make a difference. You know, my wife Karen and I have been blessed in so many, many ways in paying back to those in need, whether it be the cause of cancer, autism, education, church, and community, is a true passion, the rewards of which you fully understand in this room today. A simple lesson from Ralph Waldo Emerson has always been a driving force for me in my life. He wrote, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. I'm privileged to share with you today that one thing that lies within us is our passion for giving back. <clears throat> I'm grateful for this unexpected honor, I must tell you. I'm blown away by the whole experience. And to be honored by so many of you who do so many things each and every day for our community. But I'm grateful and appreciative of this recognition. I'm fortunate to participate with many of you, as Bernie said, in many of those activities in our communities. You know, somebody, and I really don't know who it was, once said, a good life is when you assume nothing, do more, need less, smile often, dream big, laugh a lot, and realize how very, very blessed you are. Well, standing before you today and being recognized by you in such a wonderful way reminds me again of how very, very blessed I am. Karen and I thank you for this honor from the bottom of our hearts, and may God bless you all. Thank you very much.
congratulations again to Tom and all of our honorees. I hope that all of you have, an, have enjoyed a very inspirational uh, break from your work day and that you've all been moved with the selflessness and also the generosity that we've all seen here today. Let's give another big round of applause to all of our wonderful honorees, please. And we also want to give a big hand to the Georgia Aquarium once again for allowing us to come together here in such a beautiful setting. We are happy to announce that this year's event was sold out and plans for National Philanthropy Day 2015 are already in the works, so please save the date, November 3rd, 2015. Also, award nominations for next year's NPD event are now open and will be accepted until February 23rd of next year. For nomination materials, please visit the AFP Atlanta website. We want you to remember this event, so please use the banner located in the back of the room to snap a photo. Be sure to tweet your picture using hashtag, hashtag NPDATL. All right. <laughs> Those are your marching orders for today. Before leaving, all right, so you're going to find some wonderful centerpieces at each table, and they need a home. If you see a gold star under your place setting, <laughs> then that means that centerpiece is yours. So go ahead, take a look. Who's got the gold star at the table? <laughs> the centerpiece is yours. Or give it away. Right. <laughs> you can take it back to the office. You can donate it. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners of the centerpieces. And on behalf of Justin and myself, we want to thank you so much for joining us for such a special celebration, a spirited celebration of philanthropy in Atlanta. And a big thank you for your part in thanking our community and making it and the world a better place. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>